What's good, peeps? Thank you, as always, for passing by the channel. Much appreciated. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. All right, so anyone um, wanting to watch the Amir Khan fight coming up in Saudi Arabia against, is it Gijat? Is that the guy's name? Well, if you live in the UK, we're lucky. We get to watch it live and exclusive on Channel 5. About time, some free boxing. And well done to Channel 5 for sticking with this boxing thing as well. Um, it'd be good if the other terrestrial TVs could show a bit of free boxing. I know ITV4 show a bit of the PBC stuff, which is good, but the rest are just not interested, are they, to be honest? So well done to Channel 5 for sticking with this boxing thing. I read somewhere, and I don't think it's been confirmed yet, but I read somewhere that Povetkin will be making his comeback on this card. I haven't heard about his opponent, but obviously Povetkin hasn't been in the ring since um, the Anthony Joshua loss in September. There were rumours about him maybe fighting Usyk, and then we heard about Michael Hunter. Those obviously fights didn't happen, and now we're hearing that he will make his long-awaited return in this fight, or oh, sorry, the undercard of this fight anyway. Um, they must be paying him some coin. I think they're paying some good money to these fighters. Obviously, we're hearing that Amir Khan's going to get something like, what was it, eight million pounds or something. So I'm guessing these fighters like Povetkin and some others are going to get paid handsomely as well. Um, the strange matchup that I heard, or I just read, sorry, was that Huey Fury will take on the Nigerian nightmare, Samuel Peters. That's what I just read. Um, I had to do a fucking double take when I read that. Huey Fury will take on Samuel Peters. Samuel Peters... Um, has decided to return to the ring. I think he's had a couple of gimme fights against pretty much nobodies. Um, he won his last fight against a guy, I think it was two and 22 or two and something. Um, and now he's fighting Huey Fury. But that didn't make me do a double take. What made me do a double take was when they said that, um, or I saw, sorry, that uh, Samuel Peters is 38. There is no way on this earth, this isn't me being ageist or anything, but there is absolutely no way on this earth that Samuel Peters is the same age as me. No. I feel like I've been watching Peter since I was in college, I swear. Um, unless he was fighting when he was 16 and 17, which I didn't think he was. So, um, interesting matchup. Um, Huey Fury obviously recently fought against that Canadian uh, bouncer. So I guess it's a quick turnaround for him, but I don't know what this fight does for Huey Fury. Again, they must be paying some decent money. The fight's on Channel 5. So maybe as part of the agreement for it to be on Channel 5, Huey Fury had to be on the card as well. But, but really, what's this? What's this? You talk about being world level and wanting to fight world level guys and then you take on a guy that hasn't been anywhere near his best for what? 10 years, right? 10 years. I mean, the last good Samuel Peters fight was against Vladimir Klitschko. Um, he's had a couple of fights against notable names since then. Obviously, he fought, I think, Pulev in 2016, but lost that one. He's not been anywhere near his best for 10 years and a guy that's talking about being a world level fighter is taking him on. Very, very disappointing, but... Again, I mean, I'm surprised they're getting all these names on this undercard. Again, they must be paying some good money. They must be paying some good money. I wouldn't be shocked if this almost becomes a thing um, in terms of Saudi Arabia hosting more boxing matches. I, I wouldn't be shocked. Um, where was the George Groves versus Callum Smith fight? Was that in and around that region? So they've obviously got a lot of money. And I wouldn't be shocked if a lot more boxing matches happened there. Boxing, I guess, needs to be worldwide. And if these guys are paying the coin they're paying, um, a lot of boxers might start traveling and having fights there. But what do you guys make of this Huey Fury-Samuel Peters matchup? I I'm very disappointed in Huey Fury for even accepting it. But if they're paying him, I don't know, that's just, I don't know what. They're, if they're paying him, I don't know, anything, like £500,000, then you can't blame him for taking it. And for Samuel Peters, I mean, I guess he's lucky to get this opportunity. I think he should retire. He should have retired ages ago. I um, don't know what he's doing, but... I mean, this is boxing for you, but again, we'll be able to see the fight live and exclusives on Channel 5, and that's a good thing. Um, but in terms of the matchup, might be a tour, but it'll be good to see who Povetkin's fighting. Again, I guess he'll be fighting someone around that kind of ilk of a Samuel Peters, which is disappointing. But I guess for the boxing public of Saudi Arabia, they might not care too much about the matchups. Um, I actually sat down with um, Nisa Sauland um, a couple of weeks ago in London, um, and he's matchmaker Tom Dallas. And they're actually talking about some of the fights on the undercard of um, George Groves, Callum Smith. Some of the fights that they thought were pretty much crap, almost barroom brawls. But they said the audience loved them. So again, I guess as long as they get a bit of blood and guts, they'll be happy. What do you guys think? Let me know. Peace.